What's up everybody, it's your boy Mad Buddha back again, this time with my split push build for Abathur. This build is once again sponsored by Nihilism Gaming. Check them out at nihilismgaming.com and if you want to follow along with their Abathur guide, the link is in the description below. Split push build Abathur is all about trying to put out a lot of global map pressure. This map pressure forces your enemies to make the choice between playing defense and keeping their structures alive, or showing up to whichever objective they want to fight over. Effectively, a late game Abathur can force enemy teams into fighting down players consistently, giving your team the advantage both on the map and in the fight. In order to accomplish this, we play with a lot of focus on our Toxic Nests. So at level 1, we're going to take in Venom Nests. At level 4, we're going to take Ballista Spheres. And at level 7, we're going to take Vile Nests. This gives us long-lasting, heavily slowing global nests. And these nests allow us to keep track of our opponents, slow them down to where they're going, inform us of their movements, let us know when they're taking camps, and generally protect our own team from ganks. Along with the nests, we're going to be taking Ultimate Evolution at level 10. Ultimate Evolution allows us to have that little bit of teamfight presence that we need to compensate for the fact that our symbiote is not very strong. Because we're putting all of our talents into our toxic nests and our locust strain, ultimate evolution simply becomes a necessity. As we move into the mid to late game, we start taking talents that enhance our pushing ability. This is where split push Abathur really starts to shine, as not only do you spawn locusts from yourself, but you're also going to get two additional ways to spawn locusts, and we're going to enhance them to be even more effective at sieging. To do this, we take Bombard Strain at level 13, and Locust Brood at level 16. Together, these give us ranged locusts with splash damage that are particularly good at clearing waves and taking down structures, as well as the ability to summon three extra on command every 45 seconds. With good placements of Locust Brood, you're going to be able to force teams to choose between keeping their keeps alive or going to the team fights. Locust Brood is the talent spike for Split Push Build Abathur. At level 20, we're going to take Locust Nest. Locust Nest can be used to either enhance the lane that we're already pushing by adding an extra Locust in, or give us the ability to push all three lanes simultaneously by having a locust nest in one, our body or a hat in the other, and a locust brood down the third, all three lanes will be pushing against our opponents, effectively forcing them to have to send up to three players back to base to defend, while our team can take whatever they want on the map for free. Alright y'all, that's all I got for today. Be sure to like and subscribe, and check out NihilismGaming.com. Peace.